Dishonored with Sergeant Slack. Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana One Productions. Uh, we're back in Dishonored for this episode six. In the last episode, I killed my way through everything. Accidentally managed to turn the sound off fraps and recorded like three episodes So I thought I'd level with you guys because I tried to play through it again And just play myself back up to where I was from a, a close save game and I kept finding things About the game because I mean we're doing things on camera and you're trying to make it interesting And you're trying not to just faff around and go backwards and forwards too much because that's annoying but there's, there's like a load of things that I noticed that I'd missed and in, as, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I've been doing it wrong. I've been completely doing it wrong and so I'm going to change the way I'm playing Dishonored. I'm going to investigate things a few more often. I'm going to use the J key which brings up these because there's a whole host of other things like talk to Granny Rags which I didn't do, ensure Captain Connor survives. Locate Emily and use the bottled street alleys to get around the walls of light. So I noticed this one and basically I was coming through the first wall of light over there and I found out there's a guy imprisoned in there and so I thought I'd get myself back, back up to where I was and in doing that I noticed a load of other things that I'd missed as well. So we're going to go back into Dr. Galvani's offices because this bookcase stood out when I wasn't trying to talk about things and find things to do and this bookcase stood out and sure enough fake book so there's a fake book I mean how James Bondish there's even the score marks on the floor I even went over to the bookcase and looked at that bit of it and went oh that doesn't belong there so Dr. Galvani's secret room Ooh, loads of money hmm I have been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. Ah, oh, month of nets. There's another thing. I've noticed there's a load of new months. You've got the month of wind, the month of rain, the month of dark, and the month of nets. And the nets, summer, dark, winter, wind and rain, though? I mean, they're both autumn. What's going on in this crazy place of dishonored DR? I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the work is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, and the water smells of hagfish guts, too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering, either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years. I never seen one of them come below, except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up, and we all climb up fast. No other choice. So, things going on. There's a lot of subplots to this game, and I was sneaking past it. Plague Rat Viscera. Hmm, yeah, I, I want to bring some rat guts. What, what? I don't want to bring rat guts, and now I have to use the J key again. That must have been mission clues then. Contaminating Bottle Street's gang elixir still with Plague Rat Viscera will in fact oh, it drinks the plague. Oh, so I can kill all the gang. I'll say you watch. Uh, I will see a candle to it. Ooh, that's interesting. So I have some plague poison. Mmm. Has that been added to my inventory anywhere? No. Inventory still going how it was. Good. So another thing I noticed when I came back to do the playthrough is that I missed a bone rune really obviously. And it turned out, I thought I'd just nip in and grab it, but obviously it doesn't work like that. So it's that one. There's a bone charm in there. But I actually managed to stealth my way across earlier. So there's actually still people down there. Is there a way to do it on the roofs? Yeah, I could blink that, surely. Oh, I totally can't blink that. I can blink down there. And then I don't need to blink. Oh, and there's some King Sparrow feathers. They're, they're going to be useful for something. So, uh, blink over there. And then I did murder everyone over here. So, oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do, though. So I didn't go back. Check this bin. 
which had copper wire in the first time through. I have made a few people unconscious. I don't know when they come back to consciousness. And I don't know if you chuck them in the river when they're unconscious, do you get blamed for it? So this will be the Bottle Street Gangs. Things. Area map. In. Uh, that'll be Bottle Street Gang. Yeah, so these are all the different things I've got to do. Ooh. That's quite a nice touch. Well done, Arcane Studios. That's pretty pimping. Ooh. Smash it open. Anything to steal in here? No. Ah, well. So, in the first one, I went up here, literally within inches of where I wanted to be, and then I managed to mess it up. Oh, there's a building over there I can get into as well. See, there's so much going on that I didn't explore first time around, so I'm going to go back, do it again. Wait! Yeah. Wasn't what I wanted to do at all. So what's in here? Whale oil. Whale meat. Hendrick's essence. Mother's journal. Everybody's dead. Nice one, mother. Timeless children range. They see that Jimmy Wick and Riley was a brawl his mates called Smiley. He ran around up and down town piling off every kind of crimey. Crimey? On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks and bottles with the toys. They'd start a fight and run and hide, breaking laughing far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day, smash and bash the night away. Drunk and alone, he drifted off to sleep, sitting on the bridge of Long John Clavering. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolfhound. He'd become a blue-jawed hagfish, most slimy, and was only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Wickham Riley was never seen for all of timey, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, crying, Why me? Ah, oh, that was a beautiful piece of prose. So there's two guys down there I could do with a decent way of finding to deal with, and there's stuff going on in that house, but I know there's stuff going on in that house. There is a guy in there, so how am I going to defeat these two? I mean, stealth and tactics. There's stuff over there. So let's blinky down over there. And then see if we can't distract them. So basically, what I want to do is make them... Oh, they have split up. If I can make one of them go down there. What was that indeed? You better go find out. We'll go and frickin' investigate then. Who's making that noise? Knock it off. Alright, screw stealth and tactics then. Have one of them. There we go. Close enough for jazz. <laughs> Ooh. Yay, seven body part. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. Oop. Nothing going on down here. Look, what's that? There's a severed body part. He doesn't seem interested in his mate's head. Thug. Hold. I want to hold the thug. I bet no one's ever hugged him before. Let me out. Let you out. Go on then. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it does work. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. Don't. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. I wouldn't want your face seen either. You know what? I'll return the face. Look at it. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Griff? Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. Yeah, it works for if all of us. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Yeah. Maybe someday the plague will blow over. Trading for money. How about some rat viscera or some horror sparrow feathers? feathers. Something sparrow feathers. So, oh, money. There's money here, Griff. Money right here. E yeah, I don't need to eat food. But I did notice the bone room was in this building, and it's actually upstairs. I mean, that's one thing that I can do is, what? Is try and get there. It is. Bone room. Blah blah blah. So. 
Pregnancy, eh? Well, I don't think I have to worry about that. Why do I want to carry a corpse around? Uh, empty chest. Should have made it slightly less dark around here, but I guess it's a bit more realistic in that sense. Wait! So, before we press on with El Mission, I wanted to see... Now that I know... Whoa! I just accidentally blinked to nowhere then. Uh, now that I know the stuff going on in some of these buildings, I have to go and investigate. Can I blink right up to that pipe? No. What? Griff. Griff! How's it going, buddy? What's up with your shot, man? Look at some of the things I found. Good prices, I swear. Good. Let me see what you've scavenged, Griff. Rewire two bolts, Sokolovs, guard bullets, blueprints, blueprints. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. So let's have one of these. Oh, I see. So is that going to be cheaper? Then it would have been on its own. That's interesting. Thank you very much, Griff. Uh, I don't think much to your shop. It cannot be opened at this time. Wow, the intrigue that's created. That's totally not the right thing. Yes, it is. Go on, up then. Yep. Up and onto the roof. Dunwall Whiskey, number 758. So there is a way down there, but what I'm actually interested in is what's going on up here. So that's the one I was in. I did not notice the dead child on the floor before. And I was looking in the window over here. Can I... Was that me? Did I just sigh at myself, or was that Griff? So... Hmm, there's a door. Got my dark vision on a sec. I can't see any guards. Apart from the one in there. So I'm sure I've been in that building though. Well, at least I can blink back. Yeah, this is the children's rhyme building. Hello, corpse. Uh, and I was looking out of here. It's into there. That's why. Whoop. And early. Whoop. And then we'll sneak it up. For no reason. Bottle Street Boys. Yeah, let's write things on the floor because we're crazy. Money. Na, 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 na. A Perth jewel box, eh? Why not? Let's thieve from the thieves. Whale oil. Oh, they've got loads of stuff. See, this this is just what I'm talking about. All the stuff you miss. Nate, drop points has changed. Leave it in the shitter under the bridge. If this elixir ain't there, that you don't get paid. Well, I don't think he's getting paid because I just stole his elixir. Yep. Griff's still out there. What was that? From the eye? Some interestingly placed graffiti. And there. Uh, will have to investigate. Investigate the graffiti. It says from blood. Blood from the eyes. That's quite a good taunt. Oh, I have to start using that. The Lord Regent is a shriveled prick and a liar. <laughs> He's a shriveled prick. Griff's Curio Shop. Fair enough. What's the crack down here then? Because I didn't go this way last time. Blood Ox Way. Cannot kill the Rat Plague. Bolt Street Boys. Whiskey Distillery? Hell yeah! Medicinal herbs outside the Whiskey deli Distillery. Delivery? These boys have got quite a lot of stuff. Oh, is that the Bolt Street logo? That's kind of cool. Whoop. What's going on over here? Man? Dice. 
Is this the other end of the street? It is. So, granny, granny, granny. Are you Granny Rags? What the frig? The frig? Granny Rags just turned into feathers and disappeared. What the hell? It's freaking me out, man. Send us food, not rule. R rule it. Rule. T? Rule it? No, nobody wants rule it. Is that why she didn't show up on Dark Vision then? Because she was actually made of feathers. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Yes, oh. loads of garbage. Sup, Granny Rags? You turned Dear. into feathers before. No! Is that you, my dear husband? Don't look at her face. Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I can't. Your face yeah, isn't you either. Jesus. Birdies. Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, I can't not look at her face. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. <laughs> I hear them. And they're not very polite ones either. <laughs> she used to be a down, granny, granny rags. rags. Let us in. Oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Oh, what? So I need to go and see off the Bottle Street gang, do I? Granny, 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 come out with me. Granny rags. So she's a bit mental. I may as well look after her. How do I, how do, I do this? Oh, objective markers. Oh, objectives! Yeah, let's make them do things. Cool, so side objectives are actually turning out to be quite good fun. Uh... Let us in, Granny! Ooh, so the gentlemen of callers are here. And on that note, I think we better call it a day. So this is Sergeant Slack from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for watching episode 6 of Dishonored. Uh, join me in episode 7 when we deal with the gentlemen callers for crazy old granny raggy pants. Um, I only call it that because there's a raggy... Whatever. Comment, like, subscribe if you did. I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!